Hello. Hi. So, what is all this? Oh my one very goodness. pregnant one. She's the orange one's very pregnant. That's a girl too, so I don't see a big daddy. Hey you guys, what are you in this cage? Looks like some yep. diarrhea there. They weren't in this cage? We found them in the You okay being on camera? Right yeah. Not not him. Okay. He doesn't okay. want, he doesn't want to. Okay. Yeah, we found them in the alleyway. This is where we live and we just didn't feel right just leaving them there, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's very to, cool of you. We wanted to, you know, we went to Petco, talked to them, they couldn't bring them in because I guess people brought 20 in the last month or something like that. Oh dear. They told us just Google what you can. They have a couple, you know, small animal um, rescues rescue in the area. Yeah. So we just Googled it. We tried our best to just, you know, yeah. Find someone to, you know, we don't want to leave them there, you know? Yeah, no, and we, of course. And, and you know, when was this? When did you, when did you find them? This morning. Yeah, this morning. Someone just left them. Was yeah. it like in an it alley like or in the street? Yeah. or it's not, it's not alley. too hot. Up to Manga. Up just on the Topanga. main street? No, yeah, off to Penga in an alleyway. In an alley off to uh, Penga. Off to Penga in between Parthenia and Nordoff. Oh, 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 yeah. oh hello. I got to go literally from no. to work. Yeah. Hello. Let's get you guys <laughs> situated. <laughs> Hi. Oh, my little yeah, darlings. It is sad. Cause they, they honestly have really good okay. personalities. Well, like once you realize, like, let's get you all settled in, huh? Enough, yeah. Okay. Hello, hi darling. Okay, so I'm gonna bring him in and we'll have you sign a surrender form. I'll That's bring what we it's usually do. That's fine. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you are just so felt welcome. Horrible just leaving them there, you know? Yeah, no, like, thank you. Because, you, you know, how many people there? would drive by and not do uh, anything? You know what? There's a couple people that just do the thing and just staring. And I was like, staring you know at it and then drove drove by and just didn't. Drove by, didn't do nothing. You know? Yeah, 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 when, yeah, when you know. Petco, takes uh, that was takes thing, a special you know, person uh, to, to stop and actually say, hey, wait a second. Because you know, most people just don't want to deal with the bother. It's like, ugh, you know. It's tough. It's really tough. Good deeds are good because, you yeah. know what, they actually make you feel good in your heart. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It takes special people. did the best that we could. I gave them a little bit of watermelon. I saw I that. Yeah, yeah, no. That's all I had at home, you know? They don't know what to eat. Right? Right? a sweet treat for them. That's yeah, awesome. That's that what gives I, them some water and Google hydration, water. too. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's good. So, okay, let's get them but inside. I crammed up, yeah, I just felt bad, you know? Yeah, of like course. Of course. Hello there. You are dirty, little boy. Look at you. You are so dirty, and your little weenie is kind of up and out already. A little bit. Look at you, baby. I think you're like right there on your three weeks. Yeah, and that's just wet, so we need to give you a bath. It's just pee pee, and you know, not too skinny. This is a little ivermectin, a little bit in your ear, prevent lice mites and internal parasites. You are just so pretty, what a pretty baby. I need to get some snacks here for you guys, actually. I'm sure you're hungry. How about cookie? A little treat. Would you like a little treat? He says no. I'm okay. I want apples, what he says. Okay. Apple. How about an apple? Apple. You can't resist, can you? You think about it? Yeah, no. Hmm. No, he's too freaked out. So when they're a little skittish, scared like this, then they won't eat really in front of you. It's interesting, isn't it? Okay, let's put him put him in. He feels healthy. You see little teethies. Oh, you're pretty teeth. It's pretty. Okay, I'll put him in his cage. Yeah. Okay, number one. Number two. Okay, you're pretty blonde. You should pretty blonde, and you are soaking wet too. Soaking. Oof. Okay, I'm gonna help with that because. Oh, stinky stuff. Yeah. Good baby. Let me see what you are. It's a little girl. It's a little girl. Good girl. 
How about, would you like some apple? Apple? Ooh. No. I've never seen an apple before. So, that I think is like, it looks like the typical bought one guinea pig and it was pregnant or got two guinea pigs and they were the wrong sex kind of kind of deal. You're very pretty. Okay, let's put you in the cage. Yeah, that's your little brother. Okay, go ahead. She is all wet too. Like all wet little belly. The man who brought them, the kind Samaritan who brought them, had given them watermelon and they didn't have any bedding in there, so they yeah, were a little wet from that. Too. Well, watermelon makes makes you pee too. <laughs> It's a girly. It's a girly. Hi, sweetheart. So all these are going to go on pregnancy watch. All the females because, uh, well, they are obviously come from a breeding situation. She has like a little thing here in her ear. And, you know, when you see your guinea pig, maybe even a little ringworm here. Look at that. Okay, sweetheart. You see the little crust here you see the little white skin that is usually dry skin and guinea pigs is usually because it's a fungus and then she's been bitten on her ear like multiple times that happens when they live in crowded situations yeah what you got here there's a little hair loss here on a nosy which would also indicate that there is some kind of a ringworm situation going on. Yeah, and you're just dirty. Sometimes I'll check here and in here under the armpits. Okay, sweetheart. Because that is where ringworm can hide as well. There. Okay, so a little bit of ivermectin for you. In there. Let's make a note. We're going to have to start treating you. In fact, I can put on a little bit now. If I can find it, that is. This is the cream we use, and then we do bath as well. Actually, on my website, we have, if you go to laguineapigrescue.com, go to guinea pig care, and it's right there underneath that link is ringworm treatment. Oh, really? Come on now. Thank you. Come on, sweetheart. Let's get this started for you. It's just a little spot. I mean, you always end up putting too much cream on your fingers. Always. Right, Jules? Mm-hmm. Every <laughs> time. <laughs> oh, there's that little, that little hairless spot. Oh, you're eating the cookie now. That's good. Yeah, that's good. It's a good girl. All right. Very good girl. There. So, uh, this is the big. I think this might be the matriarch. Mm -hmm. You're also very wet. Yes, you are. You have big nipples. It's definitely a little litter recently. And your nails are long. And let's do all that. Let's start with your nailsies. Good girl. Sorry. You see your teeth? Too pretty. It's a pretty girl. Okay. Alright. Okay. 
my big mama. I should have checked if she had some uh, milk. I'm pretty sure she did. Oh, my honey. Look at you. Oh, so soaking wet. Look at her. But uh, she's pregnant. I can totally feel. Oh, we gotta clean you up because you are dirty. Now, I saw something that looked like was kind of really soft, runny poo. But I didn't know if that's from the from the water Watermelon. on the cage or not. So let's let's look. Oh my shoe, piece of babies in there. There's babies in there. Yes. And you're a baby yourself She's still. She's a baby herself. No, she looks okay down there, so that's good. Look at babies. All right, let's have a little feel. She's got a little while to go still. How many do you feel? Um, well, it's hard to really mm. accurately say, but I think she might have three in there. And she's probably at least a couple of weeks off. Here, would you like some of this? No apple, huh? Nobody's in with the apple. No apple? Yeah, this one. Okay. And ivermectin is safe for pregnant females. Okay. You look good otherwise. Just a little skinny. She got some hair loss here on the side. This could be malnutrition as well as um, kind of hormones from being pregnant. You see a little bit of piece areas of hair loss there. But I'm not too mm -hmm. worried about that. Those usually resolve real quick. See right Yeah, here. I saw that part I showed Those them. usually resolve real quick once they start getting the right. This is not a ringworm because there's no dry skin. So these resolve real fast once they get, you know, the right food. We see that a lot in the really pregnant. Yes. Standards, like the situation. Yeah, or the, the, you know, mistreated, and not mm -hmm. fed right pigs are, get hair loss and it's usually related to malnutrition. Okay, let's get you a lot of a lot of peppers for dinner tonight. This is the last one. You show where everybody go. It's okay. You can try your little belly. You can try your little belly. What are you, boy or girl? Let's see. Can I have a look? It's your little girl. Let me show you guys again. Now, if this was a boy. The best way to tell, let me show you, this is the best tip I'm going to give you here, is instead of getting confused by what's there, put your finger right here, right here. Because if it's a boy, you are going to feel this little hard thing that you will feel, that you won't in a girl. So, there. Okay. You look good. Yeah. Yeah, you look good now. Here, apple? No. I'm telling you, they don't know what apple They is. don't know what it is. Yeah. Oops. So it's going to be interesting with dinner then. What are you going to eat? Who is having a little go over there? Is that the, the girls ones? are going at it, I think. Is those the newbies? I think maybe. All that space they have now? Hi. Okay, let's get you, put you back with your mommy, okay? So yeah, the bigger female is the mama to these three babies. Okay. All right, little girl. Wait, she's just being bullied by the pregnant female. Oh, poor girl. And this is what females will do when they're being bullied. And they are like, oh my gosh, it's the end of the world. And if you even like another guinea pig looks at them, they go like this. Now, really interesting. They, they have all been together in this big cage. But look on the side is another one who's like running away from being bullied right on the side. And the older female <laughs> get out. is doing the bullying. Now, she's a typical, what we call drama pig. Because what is what I always find interesting, the minute you put some food in the cage, they stop, come running, and everything's fine again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they just a screamer. She's a screamer. She, She's a whiner. 
She's a drama girl. So, all right, let's get them some food. We need more light here. This is some lettuce. Carrot tops. Oh, shushy. Shushy. Okay. Oh, no. It's the end of the world. How about this? <laughs> oh. Come on. Come and eat some. You too. I know you smell it. Come on, girls. Eat, eat. Yeah. I don't think they've ever been fed any grains. Because this is their reaction, is to sniff it and walk away. They're going to learn. They're going to have to learn. They're going to have to be on vitamin C until they start eating. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll leave them be. Okay, I'm filming. Is she going to eat it? She's sniffing it. They don't know I'm watching them. No. You need to learn how to be guinea pig. Oh, look at that. She did. Little nibble. Go on, it's safe. Let's see if there's some tomato there as well. Well, so far she's been the most adventurous but nobody wants to eat it wow I'm sure they will start eventually but they've been through such an ordeal they're all just hiding and not wanting to come out I wonder if they actually lived in this yeah that's what they found them if well it doesn't mean they lived in it but I wonder if they did you think they put a little bedding on the bottom though, right? If they did live in it. It's just odd. Oi. So, this one goes in the trash. Actually, it's our recycling bin. <laughs> there, that's where it belongs. Oof.